This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 114. We want to rewrite each exponential equation so it has the form y is equal to a times b to the x. Okay? We want to make it in this form, so we're going to use the laws and properties of exponents to do so. So for part a, part a we're given y is equal to 16 times 1 half to the power of 2x plus 1. The first thing we can do is to rewrite this as 2x plus 1 is going to tell us that instead of this, we have 2x times, again, 1 half to the power of 1, right? Because we were able to combine this to make this up here. We're also able to take it apart and separate the exponent since it's being added to have the base to this power and the base to this power being multiplied together, okay? So that's gives, that gives us here... 16 times 1 half to the power of 2x and we could rewrite this as 1 half to the power of 2 times x or 1 half to the power of 2 then raised to x times 1 half right 1 half to the power of 1 is just 1 half that's going to be able to allow us to combine the two constants 16 and 1 half 16 times 1 half you can use your calculator we know that's 8 times 1 half squared we know is going to be 1 squared over 2 squared, right? This is equal to 1 squared over 2 squared because it's 1 half squared now, which is 1 over 4. And we still have to the power of x outside. So converting into the form y is equal to a times b to the x gives us y is equal to 8 times 1 fourth to the power of x. All right, let's go on to part b. Part B, we have, we start with 100 times 25 to the power of 1 half x minus 1. So similarly, we can go ahead and say, go ahead and say this is equal to 100 times 25. And since we're adding two exponents, we can even say this is plus negative 1, right? So this means 25 to the power of 1 half x times 25 to the power of negative 1. This was able to be combined to write this, so we could separate it to write these two down below. Now we can go ahead and say, well, this is 100 times. Again, we can separate these two to say 25 to the power of 1 half to the power of x times 25 to the negative 1 is 1 over 25 to the positive 1, right? These two can combine, and we can say, well, what's 100 times 1 over 25? Well, you can plug in your calculator, or you know it's just 100 divided by 25. If you have 100 or $1 divided by a quarter, you know that's 4. 4 quarters in a dollar. So that's 4 times 25. Well, 25 to the 1 half power is the same as square root of 25. right? I'm just rewriting it since it's familiar like this, which is equal to 4 times 5 to the power of x. And this here is in the form of a times b to the x. So that ends for us CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 114.